and you're back now you, you you're feeling abandoned you're feeling lost you're still now sort of at the prime mentally with this with this hatred this dehumanization um now w w was there already was there uh um a, an influx of uh muslim refugees or people coming coming into muncie is that or, or was there always a community there well yeah see that's the thing there always was a community there uh they never stood out to me really uh, and 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 it, with Muncie, you know, it had been a mailing address for many years, really, more than anything, because I had broken time. I had two years between the Marine Corps and the Army, uh, where I tried to be a civilian. That was a bad idea. I'm lucky I made it out alive. Mm. But I went. I joined the Army, and and I had already came to Muncie. I came to Muncie to fight. I was trying to make it as a kickboxer, mm. and then I slowly got into the cage. And, you know, because of drinking and womanizing, that never panned out. I ruined myself. You know, I could have. I was good. I, mean, I don't know if I was UFC good, but I was good. I get it. You know? And, uh, but, yeah, so I, yeah, I killed myself that way. I lost that window. So I went into the Army. And uh, they uh, uh, they were more than happy to take me in. Took me in, and you know they was like I got you know hooked up with a, a, a really high speed unit, and you know became an operator again, and man, it was off to the races. Did some great things, man, some fun things. So, you know, it was hunting down war criminals in Bosnia in '04, right, and Afghanistan and in Iraq, and 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 oh my gosh, it was just it was it was incredible. But you know now it, it's all gone, man. It's like. I have nothing, you know. I, I got money at, at the at the time. I had plenty of money, actually, you know, and and so I didn't really need to do anything. So I have all this time to think now about all these people who ruined my life, ruined my destiny, stole it from me. Bam! I got some Muslims right here. I can take care of them. Do one last thing for my country. Make that stand that we are not going to take it anymore, right? So I took my time. I devised a plan. It's over the course of probably a couple of years, you know. Uh, what was the plan? To to uh, put a bomb together, simple bomb, and uh, do my best to level the Islamic Center. When I first looked at it, when I first started doing the recon for it, they didn't have the location they have now. They were actually in a house that was right off of campus and was in a residential area. So I slowly kept, kept with the process of putting a bomb together, but waited because I didn't like that idea because there was too much, there was too many Americans around. I didn't really want to hurt the Americans, right? Not that almost everybody inside the Islamic Center was actually an American. American yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, so I backed off a little bit. Then they moved. And they kind of got this out-of-the-way building. You know, it was still close to some other, and I knew there would be some, some res residual harm that was going to happen, but I think it would be minimal. I, I, I tried my best to, as best I could, and the knowledge I had about explosives to make this so it had as little impact on these other people as possible. And it just went into motion, full gear. And I was ready to just, all I had to do was, my, my, my plan was on a Thursday night, late night, I had a place for it. I already did that recon. And I was just going to set it down and wait for them to have their service the next day in the afternoon. Set across over at that bank, dial it in. Do you remember exactly where you were when you got that? impulse when you got that idea do you remember oh how gosh. it started i mean was there a process that went from sort of an idea into i'm actually going to execute this and honestly i don't think so i think it was just this is what i'm doing i mean you know okay ah oh, good idea let's do this you know kind of like when you when you're at the supermarket and you and you're checking out and you see oh man I really want that Twix bar mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and it was you get that it. simple yeah, yeah. We're, it, it, and that's that's what a lot of my shame comes into into being it's 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 not 
the act itself it's it's what went behind it that made it so just yeah this is what Easy. i do you know yeah why did you look at them as the cause of of you being in the situation that you were in i think it just had to do with my own personal experience with being overseas and 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 fighting these muslims right uh having them try to kill me you know um it just turned me against the whole the whole group it's like yeah so one tries to kill me they all want to kill me you know is that that mindset mm -hmm. so it, it, it's basically it, it's the basic premise of how prejudice builds right of course you okay, know we, yeah. we see the actions of this one person because of the color of their skin or where they come from all they're all like that right um and it it just it just kept building just kept building and they're all evil every one of them even the babies <laughs> did you have experiences overseas where you saw you're fighting alongside of, of Muslims or you saw something that you respect or you did you have any experience before what we're going to eventually get to you saw beauty w w within within the, 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 the Muslim faith not the faith necessarily or the people um, you should tell the story about yeah. that woman that's what I'm right. gonna do. Yeah, yeah that's why I looked at you first <laughs> he don't he normally does not like me to tell the story but it's my explanation on where my hatred was. please yeah no I think it's important in Bosnia so our main mission was there to go get uh, war criminals, put them, hold on to them until somebody came and got them and transported them to The Hague, right? Okay? So like Milosevic, Karadzic, and all those guys, right? We never did get those. We actually ended up capturing a couple of Al-Qaeda guys because uh, Bosnia happened at, I don't know if it still is, but it was an Al-Qaeda training ground. A lot mm. of people didn't even know that. Yeah. It was hidden away. Uh, so anyway, uh, I had this interpreter. But since... 24 7 we're not hunting down war criminals you know where we have other stuff we need to do so my uh my colonel decided hey mac he said you're a chariz or charismatic guy i'm gonna send you on some pr duty you're gonna you're gonna give radio interviews i was like all right <laughs> so i'd go to these radio stations in bosnia yeah well i had to have an interpreter right yeah 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 so it was it was a female 20 something right bosnian um and she 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 ended up being actually my my team's interpreter and um uh, sweet girl very pretty um but very very european and when i say that it's not it, it, it sounds like i'm being judgy and i'm really trying not to i'm just trying to put it into a frame of mind where a lot of your european muslims are not as orthodox as say like afghan muslims you know, or, or, or Saudi Muslims or something like that. They're, they're a lot more just carefree, okay, about things. Um, and that is n in no way a judgment. It's just trying to give an explanation. Understood. You know, she didn't wear her job. Uh, she, you know, she went out, she dated guys, and, you know, her family was more orthodox than she was. We actually, she took her, shook us, she took my team to her house, and then we met her family. Wonderful people. Wonderful people. Now, I'm saying this, remember that. And this girl, we had so much respect for her. She took care of us, mm. you know, and we took care of her to, to, to put it into a frame of mind within Bosnia. And this is what caused such a problem for when they had the civil war and stuff where there's Serbian villages within Bosnia. Yep. Okay. And we went into one of the Serbian villages to try to get some information. I sat down and met with the police chief there, and my interpreter's here. He's Serbian, she's Bosnian. Of course, I didn't know exactly what they were saying, but his tone and her reaction told me that he was not being very nice. Right, something was up. I got up, pulled out my M4, pulled it up, said, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, you shut the hell up. Mm -hmm. Just you like that. Him that and then because, <laughs> yeah, because I was like, she's with me. She's with you, yeah. Right? Now, I don't... I, I like her, but I don't like, I hate her, right? But she's with me. I'm taking care of her, okay? Plus, I know without her, I'm probably not going to get out of town. <laughs> so, so, and my friends asked me, we were sitting in the chow hall one day, and some friends I was with, we were sitting there eating, and uh, we started talking about how much I hated Muslims, because these are part of the group that's like, dude, you need chill. They said, well, what about Sarah, man? You like Sarah? I said, dude, I do, man. She's great. I said, man, I, I do just about anything for her, but there's going to come a time when she got to go. Mm. 
I said, what do you mean? She's Muslim, dude. She got to go. I said, but because I do like her and I do respect her, I said, I hope I'm the one that's there to do it wow. because I'll just put a nine to the base of her skull and she'll go quick and painless. But she's still got to go. Wow. That's hatred, man. Yeah. I mean, that that you, 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 you can't get any better explanation on the hatred that I felt in that way. Yeah. To actually have a desire to to take the life of someone that I like, you know? that's been good to me that's hatred i just i wrestle with that sometimes because that's evil man yeah. that, that's that's the foundation of evil and i i can't i, I don't know I, I don't know um Anyway, where were we at? We're, 